So in this section, we move to our model wizard where we select a 3D space dimension. Then we brings us to our physics and the uh, fluid flow. We have the non-isothermal flow. We have the turbulent flow and we select this which we add and we move to our steady. So we'll be using a stationary steady for our work. And we click on done, we save. So it brings us to our win console window. And what we'll quickly do is we wanna add our geometry. So we're going to add it, insert session to it. So we right click on the geometry, insert sequence, sorry, sequence, and we're using the shell and tube heat exchanger. Using the geometry sequence. Okay, so now that we successfully inserted our sequence, we build all and yeah, we have our geometry in here, as you can see. So now we now see the geometry here. Let's look at the wireframe rendering. How it to look. Okay. So this one, these selections gives us a different view. We see the internal parts and everything, depending on how we want to see it. Okay, so you can just play along around with these buttons to see how it will look like. Most importantly, we add our parameters. So for this particular work, we have to input some parameters so that we can be able to compute our work. So we'll input, manually input some parameters over here that we'll, we'll use. So the first will be the inlet velocity of the water, which we'll name as U. Second will be the Inlet velocity of air. And so, yeah. All right. And let me put the expression in there. So, 0 0.1 meters per second. Like I said, that's the inlet velocity. What else? Let velocity. Yeah. It should be one against the second. And this will be the temperature of the water. which will make it 80 degrees Celsius. Let's temperature of the water. Okay. 
And obviously, the last one would be inlet temperature of the air, which is 15. So water, inlet velocity, air, which is one. Temperature of the water, 80. Temperature of the air, five. Okay. We're gonna add our material. So after we've now input our parameters, we're gonna add our material. So, Go on to add our materials. And And in the built-in, we're going to add air. And also, we'll add built-in water liquid. And we'll add built in steel. Okay. So now that we've added these materials, you have to select where each component will be. So for the material one, which is the air, look at the setting window and under the geometric entity selection, Choose the air domain. And when we go to the liquid two, we're also going to look at the geometric entity selection. Then we are going to select the water domain. And for the steel, under the geometric entity selection, we're gonna choose the boundary. And under the selections, you're gonna choose walls in the closed section. So now we'll go to our physics. We start from the turbulent flow. You just click the turbulent flow. 
we locate the physics model and from the compressibility, select compressible flow, M is less than 0 0.3. So the next is to set up the boundary conditions for the inlet, outlet, and so on. So, under physics, we choose boundaries and we select inlet. So, where we have our inlets, we're going to type water in the label field. And you're going to select the boundary, which definitely is going to be the inlet water. And we'll go to the boundary condition and you want to make a fully developed flow. And under the fully developed flow section, we want to look at the average velocity and from our parameters, we type in average velocity of water. We go to boundaries and we add the outlet. And under the okay, we have the outlet. which is for the water. And inlets, outlets, inlets, Outlets. Let's type outlets. One water. This one, let's make it inlets water. Okay. Let's make this small craft. Okay. So as you can see. We've added our outlet water, but we need to select a boundary for that. And from our boundary selection, you're going to select the outlet water and we we'll locate the pressure conditions. And we'll select a normal. Okay, so we have the pressure conditions and under. This we're going to select the normal flow. Okay. Afterwards, we want to add an in inlet boundaries and another inlet, second inlet. So the Inlet two, the second inlet is going to be for water. Sorry, sorry for air. Okay. 
that's where the air will be coming. And inlet of air at this point. So water will be coming from here. Outlet of water here. Inlet of water there. Inlet of air here. We will have the outlet here. So we are, we are still building it. Let me not rush. Just want you to have an idea of what we are doing. I want you to follow it step by step. So we have we are the inlet of the air. We've located the boundary selection at that. And under the boundary conditions where we have the We have it as normal. We want to have a fully developed flow. And as we did for the water, we're going to change the average velocity to be U air. U air. Now we move to the second outlet. So we add an outlet. That will be obviously for the air. You know why I keep writing it with the cups? Well, the outlet for the air. And look at the outlet air. We locate the pressure conditions. We select the normal flow. Okay, so we are done with that and good, good, good. So now we go to locate the boundaries and we we'll locate the symmetry. And under the selection, you select Symmetry. Okay. Also, we add the boundaries. Go to the boundaries and we add an interior wall. So we look for interior wall. And the boundary selection is locate interior walls. Okay, so now we want to move next to the heat transfer section in the fluids. So we right click the heat transfer and we want to add, no, we, we have the heat transfer. under the fluid. We right click the 
if he transfer move to flow conditions and to the inflow and where we have the inflow we'll make that of the water Okay, the boundary selection, and we select the inlet water. We locate the upstream properties, and where we have the upstream temperature, we have to change it to temperature of the water. Okay, so we go to again like we did. Click boundaries, add the outflow. Outflow will be that for the water. And under the boundary selection, Selecting the outs outlet water. Locate the boundaries under physics, and we are adding another inflow, a second inflow, which obviously will be that of the air. So label will be inflow for the air and under the boundary selection, we select the inlet air and under the upstream properties, upstream temperature is that of the air. Okay. Okay, so now we've done inflow water, outflow water, inflow air, then we go to physics boundaries, then we add what outflow air. And we type the air. The selection will be outlet air. Outlet air. So now, as we've done inlet, outlet, we do symmetry. Let's go to physics boundaries, add the symmetry, locate the boundary selection. That will be for the symmetry. So what you're going to do differently here is you're going to add a thin layer instead of an interior wall. So under physics boundary, we add a thin layer. And under the boundary selection, we're going to select the walls for that. And locate the shell properties. Under the shell properties, we choose non-layered shell. And we would have to define the thickness. Okay. 
the thickness, we're gonna make it five millimeters. And locate the layer model. And from the layer type, you choose thermal thin approximation. So now everything is defined. What we'll do next is we want to go back to our definitions to add some few things. We add an We have we located the non couplings and we add an average. So, under the label, let's let's type average. Greater on water and air interface. And we'll look at the selection geometric will be a boundary, and we'll choose the water. interface, water, air interface. As you can see. So, have the water interface. We're gonna continue adding the definitions, some of these definitions in the next video. I want us to end here in this first video. So if you have any questions so far from where we started to this point, let me know. So I'll continue the next section in the next video. So please kindly let me know if you have any questions and if and do all to watch the next video for the continuation of this. All right. Thank you.